I want to talk for a minute about energy, stress, and a little bit on burnout. Let's start with energy, especially in organizational change. I see dramatic differences between individuals' investments or expenditures, if you will, sometimes even the loss or leakage of their energy. If I perceive more loss than gain, I tend to behave more protectively than productively. Contrast with those individuals who see more gain than loss, they obviously behave more productively than protectively. So think about it like this. Imagine, for example, two different hunters. One hunter fears being found, discovered, or startling their prey. And so they're going to want to recede into the surroundings, into the backgrounds, wallflowers, if you will, in their camo, in their ghillie suits, so as to not be noticed. These are protective individuals. In the workplace, I would equate that to someone who's being sort of paranoid, or perhaps at the most, fearful. A lot of anxiety. Then in the course of organizational change, I'm going to be on the outside of the circle or increasingly irrelevant or something. Again, loss. Whereas the individual that wears the bright orange hunting jacket, you know, they're the member of a team. They want to be seen, not for egotistical reasons, but so they can make a contribution. They can be found. They know where one another is so that they can help. This is productive behavior. Over time, you start to see a bit of relationship between productive individuals and their behavior and protective individuals and that behavior. So those who are productive, you're going to see more often than not experience what's known as eustress. Eustress is positive stress. Think about words that begin with EU. It's a Greek root that modifies in a positive way that which follows in the word. For example, euphoria or eureka or when we say kind words of someone who's passed and we eulogize them or we put a beloved family pet out of their misery through euthanasia. This is positivity, if you will, in the context of change, to feel eustress. For those individuals, though, who behave through paranoia or fear in a protective fashion, rather than feeling eustress, they experience more often than not distress. And their energy is sometimes the bare minimum it's survival, where they actually spend their heart song and focus on those things that excite them are outside of work. So this is an individual that you know has a lot of interests, and they pursue those with great zeal and passion outside of work. But at work, it's as if they died inside somehow. I find these individuals more often than not expend what I call nugfa energy, which is the absolute bare minimum to not get fired energy. <laughs> so as you orchestrate change or participate in it, look out for those individuals that are hiding because they're usually paranoid, anxious, or afraid, and help them to see more gain than loss or their place in the puzzle of the future so that they can expend productive energy rather than protective and feel more eustressed than distressed. <music>